Hey guys, so as Apple continues to update the iPhone's operating system, they continue to add small changes to the OS that can really help you improve the user experience. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys new iPhone tricks you probably didn't know exist that will help you improve the user experience on your iPhone and get things done a lot faster. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So I want to start off with the photos application. I'm going to show you how to select and create a multi subject sticker on your iPhone. Now, you guys probably already know that you can long press on a subject and create a sticker removing the background just like so. But did you know you can actually long press on a subject and create multiple subject stickers? So for example, I have four dogs on this image here, as you can see right here. If I long press on one of the dogs, I can actually click on the menu arrow right here, select all, and it will select all four animals that you see there. It will create a sticker. And of course, now I have a multi-subject sticker. I can add effects, delete, rearrange, or whatever. And of course, this is something that many users do not know. You can actually select a multiple subjects in one image. Now, of course, you can also do the usual stuff like the lookup feature is available for animals, is available for plants, flowers, locations. You can look up a breed. You can also, of course, uh, name your dog if your dog is in the image right there. So you can find them in your photos application. But yeah, you can create a multi sticker or a multi subject sticker by selecting all in one single image. Next, I want to talk about the messages application. There's a few things I wanted to share with you guys in this one. Number one, how to bring your favorites to the top quickly without having to tap on edit, select your favorites, and then drag it to the top. You can long press on the conversation, move it around just like so, and now you can bring your favorites to the top very quickly just like so. Now inside of messages, there's a few new things here I wanted to talk about. If you have a voice memo, you can long press on a voice memo and save that to the voice memos application on your iPhone. So if you get a voice message here on your iPhone in messages, you can save it to the voice memos app just like so. Now you also have sticker reaction, which I currently use. As you can see right there, I can use stickers to react to any conversation or any thread. Not only do I have emojis, but now I have sticker reaction. Of course, you can resize those stickers as well. And one of the most used options in the messages application, in my opinion, is the ability to send photos. But if you tap into this menu, then you tap into photos, you get access to your photos. But there's a shortcut. You can actually long press on this icon for a second, release and now you're in photos very quickly without having to scramble through the menu here since photo is one of the most used options in my opinion in the messages application when you go to send something then you can just long press for a second and then you can release and then the photos will appear for you to send and now for those of you who are looking to save storage on your iphone i also have two recommendations something that many people don't look at number one in photos you can actually go into albums and if you scroll all the way to the bottom of albums you have your duplicates. Now duplicates here will of course detect any duplicate image and videos. I have 148 photos that are duplicates and two videos. What you want to do is you want to click select and then you want to click select all and then once you select all you can merge all of these and it will do this and it will just merge the images and save the highest quality image in your camera roll but therefore saving storage on your iPhone and giving you back some of that storage and inside of messages there's also an option that a lot of people forget so if you click on the edit button here on the top if you're constantly deleting spam messages but forget to go to the recently deleted make sure you head on over to the recently deleted select all the messages you want to delete and then delete them all from your recently deleted this will also create more storage back onto your iphone a lot of people forget to do these two things remove duplicates and delete old messages that just take up storage on your iphone for no reason now next i want to talk about apple music if you updated to ios 17.3 you can now use a collaborative playlist so if you go into the library options here and you go into playlist you create a playlist, you can actually share this playlist and collaborate with others. Again, this one requires iOS 17.3 or later. And once you go ahead and create your playlist here, you can click on this plus icon that you see right here. And this will allow you to start a collaboration. So you can start this collaboration just like so. 
and you can share because then the share sheet will pop up here and you can airdrop or send it via message and everyone that gets this link will be able to add songs to the queue, remove songs from the queue, etc. And if you're playing a song here on your iPhone and someone else likes the song, you also have the emoji reactions right there. So you can collaborate on a playlist and also have emoji reactions for songs in Apple Music. I think this one is super cool. Again, this one is collaborative playlist. It does require iOS 17.3. You can also stop those collaborations just like so. But yeah, now if you have a party, you have some friends over, you can actually start a playlist, collaborate with everyone in the party, and everyone can add songs, remove songs, and things like that, and also have those emoji reactions. And these are some of the latest iPhone tricks and hidden features that I wanted to share with you guys. As Apple continues to update the operating system, they continue to add small tweaks and changes. Some of these are old, some of these are new new but nonetheless these will help you have a better user experience overall thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to click that like button if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace